Welcome to the second annual women's doubles event from Exeter Lane Shooters Pub. Exeter Hampshire, Paul Grant, along with Greg Gouillard on Canop and Bowling Network, sponsored by Home Instead Senior Care and Candlepins for Cancer, a 501c3 charity. Home Instead is proud to be the trusted choice for high quality caregivers and home care in Manchester, Concord, and Central New Hampshire. Services include personal care, homemaker, or companionship services. Please visit homeinstead.com, Central New Hampshire, slash Central New Hampshire, to get ca your care for a loved one or to apply to join our organiza organization. That's Home Instead Senior Care. Aaron Merrill on lane four. Uh, Sue Holloran, rather, on lane four, followed by Faye Sawyer. Sue Holloran. August Metcalf on lane three out of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Sue missed the chance with the five and the eight. August in the hole, 4-2 split. Welcome, Greg Gouillard. Thanks so much, Paul. Five strings, eliminator format, and a great time here at Exeter Lanes, featuring the best in women's bowling. Sue with the nine to start the first string. One string at a time. The ball five qualifying string as August gets a four. One string at a time. So Greg, give the format to the viewers here when you get a chance. Just in, one more time in case you just tuned in. Five strings, so total pinfall will qualify for the eliminator format. And then out of that, it'll the eliminator playoffs will be one string playoffs and the bottom half of the field, not head to head, nor is this head to head, will advance on to the next round. I'm having some issues with my camera connection, excuse me folks. All right, thank you, Greg. Sue Holleran, 8, 17 through 2. So August, Met Metcalf, a 4 and 8, 12 through 2. Okay. Oh my God. Sue Holleran, 3, 6, 10, underway. Two teams per lane. Five string qualify, like Greg said, 16 make the playoffs. It'll be a two string final. August one, two, eight on lane three. On lane four, Holleran hit the object pin, wouldn't carry. August open. Sue Holleran, nine, 26 through three on Canopin Bowling Network. August, nice 10, 22 through three. Over 740 videos and climbing, always free, never a charge. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube. Please share this match with your friends and family. Invite them to bowl, Canopin Bowling. Nothing like the great game, a sport for all ages. Fall leagues are forming as well. Check your local bowling centers for times and availability and support your local centers and help your family and friends involved in this great game with Canopin gift cards. Not just the holiday season, all season long. Canopin gift cards, the gift that keeps on giving. Sue Holler in 4-7 for a spare with Wood. Missed it, couple missed chances. August, nice bid, has the 2-4-7. Each team will move one lane to the right after each string. That's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10, 36 through four. Teaming up with Faye Sawyer. August Metcalf teaming up with Lisa Everest, also out of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. August to nine, 31 through four. So Paul, if I recall correctly, approximately 20 teams signed up right 20 now. 20 teams, yes, 20 teams. We're looking for 24, we got 20. We had 16 last year. Great job, ladies. Hopefully get bigger and bigger every year, and the prize fund as well. Six payouts today, $1,500 for the winning team to split. Three in the seven for Holleran. Sue Halloran, technically, missed that one. August, three in that first ball. Second ball goes left, has the one and the eight. $1,500 to split for first place, $750 for second, $400 third and fourth place to split, fifth and sixth get $200. Each ball paid an $80 entry fee, all of the prize fund. 
Sue Halloran, nine, 45 half. She was great last year in the qualifying rounds. August nine, a 40 half. Lisa Everest on the left. Spent most of her life in Houston, Texas. A golfer, works at a golf shop in Maine, from Old Butcher Beach, Maine. Pulls out of the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Mike Walker's house, Faye Sawyer on the right. Reminder, folks, that these matches are not head-to-head. -head. This is a big field qualifier, just the top uh, pairs moving on to the next round. And then the eliminator round will also not be head-to-head -head either because the bottom half of the field will be cut. So unlike a knockout, which would be a direct bracket match. Faye Sawyer, 6-9-10. Lisa Everest, you could say she has two triangles in a sense. She has a center triangle or right side triangle. You make the call. Obviously not two triangles. It just looks like it in some ways. Sawyer, beautiful ball, leads up the 2-4-7, now it's the 2-7. Lisa with the wood, good try. <laughs> Faye Sawyer, nice 10 to start her first of five qualifying strings. Lisa Everest a nine, we'll see Lisa in August again next string. Two main bowlers, we got a bunch here, we have Aaron Merrill here for Maine. Gabe Russell from Maine, Christina Dill, who won the Maine APH Championship in just over a year of bowling last season. Watch it on Canopy Bowling Network on YouTube. <coughs> Faye Sawyer, three again. Lisa with two. Second box, first string, extra lane, shooters pub. Great place to bowl, great place to hang out. 12 lanes. And outstanding quality food, full bar, award winning pizza, great wraps, pretzels, whole lot more. Shooters pub at extra lane, six Columbus Ave, ex New Hampshire. Faye Sawyer grabs one for an eight. Pair of eights to start. Lisa Everest, an eight and a nine, 17 through two. Again, not head-to-head. -head. Top 16 out of 20 teams make the playoffs. Top six get paid. Remember, folks, we are live on Candlepin Bowling Network on Facebook and YouTube, so make sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube so that you're always in the know about all our great bowling events. Faye Sawyer, 247. Lisa, 124910. Welcome us watching from Florida, Carol Shaw Downey, Hall of Famer. Michelle Wood, Tom Pelkey, I'm sure are watching from Maine. Thanks for watching. Welcome, I mean, I'm from New Florida, from Maine. All across the digital platforms, please share with your friends and family. Soya Spare on the board, 28 in the ball through three. Greg, see if my voice can hold up today. Get 11 matches tomorrow to call two. And a doubleheader on Monday. That's it. A zillion matches this week. Everest, Casual. one, two, nine, ten. Hooks it left. Got two for an eight. 26 through three. Five string qualifying rounds. One string elimination playoffs. 16 to eight to four to two. And a two string final. All separate broadcast today. We'll sign up after each string. Faye Sawyer on the spare. In the pocket, nine. And a wiggle on the four. Holds up. So she had 10 in the eight, my mistake, 18 through two, now a spare nine, 37 through three. Lisa Everest drills nine, she has the 10 pin for a spare. That seven pin fell late for Lisa Everest, good break there. Sawyer for another one, bang! Back to back, 47 the ball through four. Everest in the channel, no good. Missed opportunity. It's a tougher shot for right-hander, the 10 pin, as the seven pin is for a left-hander. And won't go for a nine, 35 through four. Everest's delivery has very much like a 10 pin style hook to it as well. It goes from decidedly from left to right. Very nice to watch. Faye Sawyer, our second spare fill in a row. In the pocket, this time it's five. Two, four, seven left, six, 10 on the right. 52 through four. Lisa, nine again for the second time in a row. For the ladies, it's the queen pin, the five. 
Sawyer, of course, has that distinctive move right to her approach you see there. We're they familiar open. with that from the ACST. And Lee Service gets the spare. 45 half plus one. Face Sawyer seven, 59 half. Now a second group of bowlers. Aaron Merrill, great bowler from Maine. With Mario Johnson. Katie DeRogas, Chuck DeRogas. Katie DeRogas, Sonia Rossi. Aaron Mello, great competitive bowler. One, three, seven, ten. Katie DeRoja's beautiful ball, but crossed over, thin hit. And interestingly, with the wood, five, nine, middle, seven, ten. Merrill, good try. Leads up to seven. Katie with the wood, just missed a little right, almost went. Both of the seven pin. Aaron Merrill starts off with a nine. <coughs> Katie doinks it for a nine. Kenneth and Boy Network, proud to present the second annual women's doubles event, 220 scratch, cap. 20 teams on tap today. Aaron Merrill drills nine, once against the seven. Wood rolling to it, and it goes! A delayed strike, she'll take it. 19 plus two through two, first of five strings. We'll sign off after each string. Katie, Dur Katie Durant, not DeRogia's, Katie Durant. I get Katie Durant, Katie DeRogia's mixed up for some reason. Katie Durant on lane three. One, two, eight, nine. I had it down differently on the sheet. I had that name differently down on the sheet. I apologize. Here comes the spare fill. Two and one split. Merrill still filling the strike. And two pins remaining, so eight on that strike. So there's really no lead. It's not head-to-head -head right now. It's just the top 16 advance. So really no head-to-head -head, uh, against these two teams. Everybody's vying for the playoffs. Only four will get knocked out after the qualifying rounds of five strings. Aaron Merrill strike eight, eight, 35 through three. Kitty Durant, nine, 24 through three. Merrill on the nose again. A 2-1 split, the four wobbles around, holds up, 6-10 right. Katie Durant, 1-2-4-7, 9-10. Merrill try to go one of the two. It's still going, they go, wow, what a shot. That wood took its sweet time going left to right. Delayed strike, delayed spare. Good try by Katie. 45 of the ball through four. Aaron usually very stoic on the lanes. A couple of smiles. Katie Durant, nine, 33 through four. Eight box indeed. Merrill on the nose, seven, that looked good. Watch that wood and again. And the wood pushes the eight, that goes, so eight in the fill. Another one goes, will that go? Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Almost the third delayed mark. Can I mark it, can I mark it? Okay, nine 54 through four, what a start for Aaron Merrill from Maine. For another one, got it with the wood. What a start, 64 half plus one, wow. Kitty leads up the number one pin.
Katie, 10, 42 half. Paul Greg, Greg Guya live on Can Up and Bowling Network. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, always free, never a charge, for great bowling content. Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and the World Tournaments, Mixed Worlds, Friday Night Pro League, Land of Canopin Single Store. Check out Canopin Bowling Network on YouTube. Subscribe today free. Pro Series from Web, uh, Ryan Family Amusements in Millis, Massachusetts. Not Webster, that was where Candlepins for Cancer was. Pro Series next Saturday, and that coverage will start, I believe, quite in the afternoon time, TBD, let's say. Here's Mario Johnson with the Spread Eagles. Sonia Ross, another fine bowler. She gets four. Mario clips out the four. She's won a boatload of titles in a great career. Hall of Fame resume for sure. In the hole, tough five to start her first of five. Sonia Rossi, good bid, five, eight, nine triangle. <coughs> Mario off to left, gets seven, make it eight. Pins are flying here in Exeter, one in the nine. Sonia gets the spread eagle. Mario missed left. Sonia, good big, got the three, did a job. Three, six, ten for a ten. That's a Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third. Ten for Mario Johnson. If Kale Pistol Cancer get a dollar every time that happened, we'd be doing pretty good. 15 through two, Sonia and eight. Also 15 through two. Next string, we'll have Sarah Wright, Linda Brunette, Peggy Donnelly, and Andy Bailey. As well as Katie Durant, Sonia Rossi again, Lisa Everest, and August Metcalf. Sonia, eight down, two to go. Three in the five, four, two split, Mario, open, one, four, seven. Sonia splits the upright, spare. 25 in the ball through three. First of five qualifying strings. Mario, good bid, nine, 24 through three. Good outcome on that third ball. Get two out of three, that's a pretty good out in my book. Mario Johnson, lane four. On the crossover, seven, three, five, nine. Rossi in the spare, five, make it six. One, two, five, nine. 31 through three. Mario connects on the board. 34 and a ball through four. Very good, had that tricky nine pin back there as well. Sonia has the one and nine. Ten. And she gets a ten. 42 through four. Greg, all my notes are full of Delsum cough syrup today. What happened, Paul? I left my Delsum cough syrup in my bag for my scratchy throat. And it spelled all of my notes today. Mario, 2-1 split on the spare, 7, 41 through 4, 2-5 in the 10. So much for preparing in advance. Got to pack your liquid separately in a clear plastic baggie. Hey, nice shot, but won't go, will it? No. Sonia Johnson, the birthday girl from yesterday, going nuts. Mario Johnson, 10, 51 half. Sonia Rossi, 9, 51 half. Sonia Johnson is on fire 
Off to our right in lane seven. We'll get an update in just a moment. We'll give Greg Gouillard the call. And Greg, tell about our sponsors here also, Greg. Thanks so much, Paul. First of all, we'll watch. Sue Hollerin back up on lane four. With the pin, seven pin and August Metcalf on a 40 half. Spare chance here. No glance in the chin, I'm afraid. So that'll be a nine for Hollerin. Mark that up. Paul Grant currently searching Sonia Rossi's big strike. Oh, good shot, Metcalf. Didn't get the seven pin, or did she? Nope, Woods sits right in front. What's the latest? Wow, Sonia Johnson just threw a 179, a perfect game, nine marks, including a strike spare at the end, a 10 box for only blemish, but a perfect game in Candlepin, 10 spare strikes, 179, nine marks. The birthday girl yesterday, good for her. Back to Greg. Well, good thing we got that singles pool up and running <laughs> ever so slightly. Hopefully she paid in. That high single pool, I mean to say, for the five strings. Remember, five string qualifier. This is not head to head, just a, crowd, a big field event. These are the bowlers on our featured lanes. Oh, there's got a tough lead here. Three and two split. Three, six, and seven. Third ball coming up for Metcalf. for all are in 63 through seven. Back half at 53 through seven. How's it going folks in chat? Where are you watching from? Please leave a comment below. Send some encouragement to the women as well. Five strings. As much as Candlepin Bowling is in the Northeast, North America right now, we'd love to hear where people are watching from because we're getting an increasingly international and cross country audience. We'd love to know. Third ball coming up for each. Six. Back half, nice out. That turns into 10. And 63. You can see the double is total at the top of your screen there. Those corner smudges aren't a, a glitch of any sort. That indicates the mark working for both Lisa Everest and Aaron Merrill, respectively, in their respective matches. This is the 3-9 for Halloran. It's tough to get those pins both back to back. Even with Wood intervening, it could still be a tricky shot. It's always easy to punch it out off the full rack, we always say, the 2-8 or the 3-9 for the half Worcester. But when you're asked to do that on purpose. Suddenly it seems so difficult. Quality 10 for Howard. Metcalf good pinning, 72 through nine. Shout-outs to Cat, Pam, and Dusty and Chad. Hello, everyone. Halloran's got the 3, 9, and 10. Very good bowler. Still holds a record at Lita Lanes, I know, off the top of my head. I believe it's for ladies three strings. I'll have to double-check that. It was three or five, something like that. Still four strings to go and plenty of time to build on that. Metcalf pinning to the end gets 82. So back up on the lanes you see indicated. 
Lisa Everest on lane three, and Faye Sawyer. Who you'll recall from the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour. Streaming both on Candlepin Bowling Network and on the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Facebook and YouTube pages. Don't forget about that YouTube page for the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour. It still could use a lot more subscribers. Of course, all the live matches will be on the Facebook, of course. But that YouTube channel could use a lot more subscribers because it's a great archive of matches, including from the early days of the league. Great to see how far we've come as well, but... Great to know the history of the league as well. Sawyer's working on a solid 59 half. This leave is gettable. One, two, four, six, ten. Got to watch out for that rolling wood here. You saw it tap the four. And we've seen a few late going breaks already for our bowlers. Everest washed out a good bunch. That's one, three, and ten. Ooh, Sawyer cut the pins the right direction, essentially. Just the ten stayed put. The seven fill and a spare. Sawyer has a 10 box after great pinning there. 69 through 6. We just put a post on Candle and Chat. Sonia Johnson just turned 26 yesterday and a 179, nine marks. Amazing. Someone out there is going to have to do it for me. If y'all are listening and a member of that group, please do. 179, absolutely amazing by Johnson. Sawyer's first, uh, Everest's first ball delivers six in this bear. Sawyer trying for this, just missed the optic pin. Put that spare fill on the board for you kind folks. You see 68 through six, a good string working. Third ball is coming up for each. That's nine for Sawyer. And seven for Everest. Greg, we have a special guest, the birthday girl, 26 years young, Sonia Johnson. Sonia, you left the world in the first ring, 179. Wow. That was great. I was surprised. There was a lot of shots that I probably shouldn't have gotten that I did, and that helped me a lot. The horseman usually doesn't go in this house, and it went twice for me, so I'll take it. How many spares and strikes? I had 10 spares and one strike. Yeah. And one ten box, right? And one ten box. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I, I'm starting to think 200 is impossible if it takes that many marks, and yeah. I only got a 180. Yeah. Who said extra? Who said extra is a tough house? You know. Uh, come back to me next game, and I'll let you know. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. All right. Sonya Johnson, 179, first string. 160 last year. Was the highest string last year? Back to Greg. Eight, bo eight box for each of the bowlers. Eighty-six and eighty-three, as you see. So there's got one, two, six, seven, and ten. And there's our first look at the half Worcester today. The three-nine punch out. 4-2-8. Sawyer again with a good cut on that head pin. Just can't get those sleeves to go. Not in this string anyway. That's very good on the half Worcester. Good pins nonetheless. That five is wiggling, but it will not drop. Sawyer, well, object pin. Nine is fine, I suppose. Threw a good ball there. Ten for Everest. So last season, Deb DeRosia, Glennis McKinley won a thrilling two-string win over Kelsey Layton and Shannon Scribner of Big 20 Scarborough, Maine. Watch that two-string final on YouTube on Kenneth Bowling Network. What a match that was. Their name is on the plaque here. We'll show it later on today. We're looking forward. We'll show you that plaque if we have time after the string. If 
we finish up early here, perhaps. So they are good pins. They're still mixing, but the eight pin stays put. Lisa unlucky not to get more out of that. Wearing a shirt from Big 20 out of Scarborough, Maine, Everest is. Nice 10 for Sawyer. And three of those to string. And that will lead to a 105. Nice job by Lisa Everest out of Big 20 Scarborough, Maine. Faye Sawyer's company she works for, works not her company, she works for is sponsoring $250 today. Aaron Mello, Red Hot, Honest Bear, 64 half plus one. Second annual Women's 220 Scratch Doubles event on Cannabis and Bowling Network, Paul Graham, along with Greg Guya. Please share with your friends and family, invite them to bowl, Cannabis and Bowling. Back to Greg Guya on the call. This is Merrill Spare Phil. That's five on it. Three and two split. Unlucky not to get better fate than that, but a 69 half, very strong. Durant takes into the head pin. That's five. Same unlucky break. Well, how do you do it? Unless you want to nitpick the wood in the challenge. Oh, what a cut shot that is. Of course Merrill did. Six, 79 and a ball through six. That's got to provide a great lift for Mario. You can see just as easily how that leaf can go the other way. So even just getting the pins is great out of that. Nine, the seven for Katie Durant leads to 49 through six. Now the spare fill. Got perhaps a little too amped about that one. I know. Still two on top of that. Oh, the pin still tip for Durant. Almost eight into seven. Cluster of eight. Good pinning to recover from that. Still four to get. Those are two sleeper pins back there. Durant spares. And it's on 59 in the ball. Good out. Great recovery. Uh, it's always easy to be despondent after the two fill, but there's still pins to get, and turning that two into six into 10 means Merrill is still working on a great string and hasn't caused any further damage. 21 over 10 a box pace is very good. Durant spare fill. That's mixing pins. Let's see if that wood rolls. Wood hey, Greg. We, in front of nine to 10. Sorry, Greg. The reason we say Katie DeRoja is because Katie Durant dates Chuck DeRoja, so waiting for Chuck to pop the question. <laughs> So Kenny Durant. So why was it down on the sheet that way? Anyway, we'll debrief yeah. later. We, we, we jumped ahead. I got ahead of myself. Katie DeRoges. Ah. Future Katie DeRoges, I would think. Katie Durant now. No, there was no pressure, Chuck. That was that wasn't a hint, Chuck. By the way, it might it might help Chuck though. <laughs> All right, back to Greg. Showing 95 on Merrill's side, so I'll go with that. Aaron still has a check mark to deal with. Durant's spare try is the one and four with some strange wood in front. It collected the four. We've seen sidewall bounces take this before. Not this time, though. And seven. Durant still does well to get nine out of that. It's a great day for women's sport, isn't it, Greg Gouillard? Awesome day for the ladies. 20 teams, second annual 220 doubles event, X Lane Shooters Pub, X New Hampshire on Canada Promoting Network. Just a festive atmosphere, good for them. It's wonderful to see a festive atmosphere as we've packed all 12 lanes here at Exeter Lanes. In Exeter, New Hampshire, of course.
Durant crossed over, actually got all the way over into the two pin. Four horsemen and an eight. That piece of wood in the back, I'm not sure it will help necessarily. Don't turn your back too soon, Aaron. Oh, boy. Dominoes tumbled in front of the 10 pin. It didn't quite take it. And a 10. So a solid string, all told. 112. Had 21 over pace at one point. But I think we'll still be pleased with that start. First of five qualifying strings. Aaron turns it over to her teammate Mario Johnson. And Katie Durant turns it over to Sonia Rossi. Wearing the shirt for Team Academy Lanes out of Haverhill, Massachusetts. They actually just did a recent masking unit upgrade, Justin Scally from Candlepin Bowling Network tells me. He mentioned that the former yellow room, which was the lower numbered lanes at that 44 lane house, they redid the paint job of that. Great drop for Ross at seven pin stance. And now it will have a the similar square motifs to the blue and green rooms as well. So it'll be orange, in fact, not quite yellow. That'd be a little unsightly. Nice spare. Rossi 61 and a ball through six. That's a very good out for Mario Johnson. Uh, let's get those numbers the right way around. There we go. So yeah, all squares all the time. I like squares. Mario takes aim close to 11 drop. Rossi, I uh, didn't get the sidewall bounce this time, I'm afraid. So the fill, I believe. Three here. Three here. Almost made that one. One pending each for each of them. And box 70 through 7. Oh, good to see you. A lot of good bowlers moving down to Florida. Hey, I know there was an effort to start the game down there. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Someone should. Nice spare off the wood, Rossi, again. Her third mark. Mario Johnson pinning very well. Marion Johnson, of course. That is her fourth 10 by my count to go with her one spare. On, yep, that's had pin to start. No love from that, but we've seen this three and two split go before, including with that barn door in front might help out. Rossi had that spare working. Let's light it up. And a great break, nine drop. So we'll put nine in that. Ooh, just smile and tap in. Johnson does the sure thing, goes right for those two on the right side. What darn near came backwards for it. So it's nine apiece. Gets shot powerful again for Rossi. That leaves the kingpin. Mario's got four horsemen and ten. This can go unless the wood deflects it away. Yeah, you saw how it jammed up the ball somewhat. Very good pins out of that. So that's the out guarantee. Rossi collects. Good string and actually could have been 120 as it is. A chance to bust into 110s. Mario will look for better on the next one, but 210 for the pair of Aaron Merrill and Mario Johnson will be a great result. 
definitely something you can build on and make the cut with. Rossi yanked that ball a bit. Good power and angle, though. That's six, 108. So there you go, the results after each. Paul, there you see the results there. Very good results for Aaron Merrill and Mario Johnson. Merrill, of course, could have even, a couple bowlers could have had 120 easily. And uh, do you still have that plaque by chance? Yes. Yeah, so. I wonder if we have the chance to go down and show it real quick. We're not going to interrupt bowling by doing that, right? Do I go down and show it or? Never mind, never mind. Okay. We'll show it. We'll show it at the end of the match. We'll show that plaque at the end of the match. That's fine. After the finals are over, so. That's good. We're gonna cut the stream here, and we'll start second qualifier in just a moment. Remember, make sure you hit the like and follow button so you don't miss a beat. We'll be back in just a few moments with our second of five qualifying string playoffs later on this afternoon on Kenneth Bowling Network. Thank you for watching this great game of Kenneth Bowling Network, along with Greg Guyard, Paul Grant. We'll see you in just.